Hey guys, what's going on? Sherman here. And I uh, got a few new things that I wanted to share with you guys. Just kind of do my, uh, like an initial impressions type deal. Um, I usually do that with unboxings. And, well, I have two items. The first item, I didn't really feel like it, it you know, necessitated an unboxing video. <laughs> so it was pretty small and, you know, so I just didn't do it. I got it yesterday. The second item, I just got today, a few hours ago, actually. And um, I honestly wasn't quite sure what it was, and then I opened it up like a buffoon. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm sorry that there won't be an unboxing of that, but I will give you my initial impressions of these items. All right, so uh, the first thing I got, bam. <laughs> these Black Hawk Speed Clips. You can see there, I'm sure you guys have seen these before. I Probably just preaching to the choir, not saying anything you guys haven't already heard before. Um, I actually did a video of these last night, an initial impressions video. Um, I was going to upload it today, but since I got my second item today, I just figured I'd throw them all into one video. But um, these are the number threes, and a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people complain about this, that they weren't very specific with the sizing, and I agree. I mean, it makes sense if you think about it, but... These are number threes, and that means they're three inches. From hook to hook, they're three inches. And that accommodates three rows of PALS webbing, because each, mo or molly webbing, however you wanna, whatever you wanna call it. But each piece of molly web is universal, they're, they're, they're all universal, they're all one inch wide. So, these are three inch, so it's going to go through three molly straps. Now, I didn't really know what to get at first. You know, I'd had no idea what I what I was looking for because I've never bought anything like this before. Um, um, I was gonna get some of the Maxpedition tack ties, but I wanted to try these first because I've been looking everywhere for these guys, and uh, an Army Navy store around here has ever even heard of them. So I finally lucked out and found some on Amazon, pretty cheap, about six dollars. It actually came to like thirteen after shipping. I was like, what? <laughs> So anyway, I got that, so I can, uh, excuse me, so I can uh, attach my gear, like different um, bags, to my bigger packs, like my Sitka, my Remora, and whatnot. So that'd be cool. I also, I, I do want to try some of the Maxpedition tack ties. I'm going to get some of those here coming up pretty soon. So I'll compare the two and tell you guys what I think and tell you how these are holding up. Uh, but yeah, like I said. These are the number threes, and then it goes from number threes, fives, sevens, and nines, I think. And they, they all represent, each number represents the inch. So, you have the number nine, it's going to cover nine um, straps of molly. So, looking at these now and then comparing them to my bags and different uh, packs that I have, um, I'm probably going to go with the five inch next time because I will allow this plate right here to slip through three rows of PALS webbing and then these two clamps will attach itself to my other pack. Um, it's kind of hard to describe without a reference. Which leads me to my next item that I got. BAM! Maxpedition Mini Pocket Organizer. And I got this American flag patch to go with it because I'm a patch whore. <laughs> I freaking love patches. So I got that patch to go with it. It doesn't match at all, <laughs> but I don't care. It just looks great. All right. So like I said, this is the Mini. And um, as a size comparison, here's the Micro. And you can see that it's about a half inch bigger in both dimensions. Also, this has the loop field and the Velcro mesh pocket. It also has PALS webbing on the back a bigger carrying handle, and this is made of 1,000 denier uh, nylon, whereas this is made of 800. And you can really tell the difference, like you can fold that up. This one is very stiff, which I like. It adds a lot of rigidity. Um, this is what I would prefer to carry in my pocket, personally, in my jean pocket. Now, if, I have, if I'm wearing cargo pants or my BDUs, um, I'll opt for this, just because my, those pockets are big enough to accommodate something the this size. Like I said, you have the nice um, Velcro pocket, which is nice to put money, change, 
different things like that in there. Uh, that's just what I use it for anyway. You can do whatever you want with it. And I do like the fact that it has the PALS webbing because I do love my patches. All right, so like what I was talking about, just on the same lines of the speed clips, uh, these two clamps will go to the bag you're attaching your gear to. So it'd be like that, and then this would weave in and out. Now the cool feature of this is it has a little hole right there so you can tie paracord through. And then you can um, thread that paracord through the webbing and just pull this clip through. So it makes threading it very easily. It makes threading it very easy. Okay, so basically, that's gonna be on your bag. Like, let's say I wanted to attach this to my Sitka. Uh, all right, let's say this is my Sitka. So it's gonna attach to the PALS webbing on my Sitka. And then, um, so that takes up two inches because it takes an inch you know, on each side and then one inch in the middle. So that's what I was saying. Basically, I only have room for one PAL strap. That's what it's gonna look like. Of course, I would use two. So that's how it would attach to my Sitka or any other bag. These two clamps would attach itself to the PALS webbing on my other pack. So that's why next time I'd probably opt for the five inch because that would allow me to go through two strip or um, all three of these strips. It would allow me to go through all three of these strips like that is, but then I'd have you know the clamps on the outside to attach it. So there's your kind of a size reference there. But yeah, let's look inside. You yeah, have much more uh, attachment points. So that's what I liked about it. You have a ton more um, little bungee straps. So on this one you have two big ones and then three small ones here. You have three small ones right there, four small ones there, and then of course you have that entire back one. Two small back straps there, bungee straps, and then one big one there for like a notebook or something. Of course, you have your two big flaps. And this has one of those key keepers. Don't really use those a lot, but you know, it's nice to have. So you can really see the difference in terms of the material. This is definitely more harder use. Um, it's funny because Red Gladius, he was texting me the other day and uh, told me that he ordered it and it was right after I ordered mine. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> and he actually got the exact same color, khaki. So we're going to do a video about that later, later on tonight or tomorrow. Um, so yeah, if you guys are watching this and you're interested in, uh, in getting one of these, I would recommend you go do it now because as of, what is today's date? Okay, today is November 19th, of course 2011, and uh, they just did get these back in stock about five days ago. So. If you're interested in it, definitely go pick one up now while you can. I've been waiting for these to come back in stock since June. So I've been waiting a while to pick one of these up. Um, so the, they emailed me, let me know it was in stock. I ordered it right then and there. So it was like $13 itself, I believe. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'll annotate it. But yeah, definitely expect a review of this coming up. I know that a ton of people have done a review of it already, but you guys know how I like to roll. So. Yeah, just again a size comparison there for you. So yeah, very cool. I'm really impressed with this. I, I'm, I'm planning on putting it in my Sitka to organize smaller items because my Sitka doesn't have a lot of places to put small stuff. Because, um, you know, it's a backpack, so that's where you're going to put like your clothes and different stuff like that. So this is where I'm going to keep like my small tools, perhaps some first aid stuff in here, and then slip this inside my Sitka. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments box. And like I said, expect a full review of this product coming up. And a review slash demo of uh, these speed clips. I'll show you guys more in detail of how these work and what I think about them. This is just an initial impressions. Alright guys, stay safe, stay sharp, and God bless. Sherman614, peace.